Hello and welcome. Today we're looking ahead to Europe's winter forecast for 2025 to 2026. We'll explore the latest climate models, historical context, and what current indicators are saying about the season ahead. Let's dive in. Long-range forecasts aim to predict weather patterns weeks or months in advance. Unlike short-term forecasts, they carry more uncertainty but are informed by global climate models and long-term data. Meteorologists look at phenomena like El Niño, the Arctic Oscillation, and especially the North Atlantic Oscillation, which significantly influences Europe's winter weather. A negative North Atlantic Oscillation tends to bring cold and snow, while a positive phase often means mild and wet conditions. Historically, Northern and Eastern Europe see colder, snowier winters, while Southern regions tend to be milder and wetter. Over recent decades, fluctuating North Atlantic oscillation phases and climate change have made winters more unpredictable, from deep freezes to record warmth. Extreme events like heavy snowfalls or sudden thaws are becoming more common, driven in part by rising global temperatures and changes in atmospheric circulation. Several key indicators are shaping the winter outlook. North Atlantic Oscillation Forecasts lean toward a neutral to slightly negative phase, which could bring colder conditions to northern and eastern Europe, with wetter, windier spells in the west and south. Arctic Oscillation A variable Arctic Oscillation suggests Europe may see alternating cold snaps and milder periods. Sea surface temperatures The Atlantic and Mediterranean are warmer than average potentially increasing storm activity and precipitation, including snow, across Europe. El Nino Southern Oscillation Currently neutral, but a weak El Nino might develop. That would typically bring milder conditions to northern Europe and wetter weather to southern regions. Here's a breakdown by region. Northern Europe, including Scandinavia and the Baltics, is likely to experience colder than average temperatures with increased snowfall if the North Atlantic Oscillation, or NAO, turns negative. Prolonged cold spells could strain energy systems. Western Europe, encompassing the UK, Ireland, and France, should expect wet, windy conditions with intermittent mild spells. Above average storm activity is possible. Central and Eastern Europe, including Germany, Poland, and the Czech Republic, are facing a potentially cold and snowy winter. Snowfalls are possible both early and late in the season. This could, you know, affect travel and energy demand. Southern Europe, including Spain, Italy, and Greece, is expected to experience wetter than average conditions with frequent rain and storms. Temperatures are likely to stay near or slightly above normal. Climate change is adding complexity to Europe's winters. While Arctic warming can lead to sudden cold outbreaks, it also contributes to an overall trend toward milder winters. Changes in jet stream patterns can shift storm tracks, making some areas wetter and others drier. These shifts challenge forecasting but also highlight the need for adaptation. What does this mean for you? Energy providers may face high demand during cold spells in the north and east. Transport systems should prepare for snow and ice disruption in central and northern areas. Emergency services in southern Europe should plan for potential flooding and storm damage. Staying informed and preparing early can reduce the risks from extreme weather this winter. To wrap up, Europe's winter 2025 to 2026 could bring colder, snowier conditions in the north and east, with wetter, milder weather in the south and west. A blend of climate signals is shaping a winter of regional contrasts. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and tap the bell for more updates. Stay warm, stay safe, and we'll see you next time.